in the future. After the big war, there will come a time to rebuild and a need for a new and special kind of soldier. This man is carrying a loaded weapon. Prepare to meet the next great American hero. That's where you come in. Are you serious? His name is... Hell. Sam Hell. Never heard of you. We're going to Frogtown. And this is the adventure he's been waiting for. We're gonna get him out, and then you're gonna get him pregnant. And if anyone's got a chance in hell of rescuing the virgins from the evil clutches of Toady. It's a miracle. Right. Let's go. And escaping from Frogtown. Go, 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 go! It's Sam. Shit. Holy shit! Be there for the action. <laughs> the adventure. Oh, Sam! What are you doing? And be there for the dance of the three snakes. Dance? gonna die when hell comes to frogtown starring rowdy ruddy piper as sam you are one weird dude sandal bergman as nurse spangle wired to blow hell comes to frogtown eat lamp froggies Hey guys, it's Chris. And it's Jack. And we decided to watch a movie. Again. <laughs> we decided to watch, from, by listener request, uh, Hell Comes to Frogtown. Wow, what a name. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's sort of a play on words based on the main character being Sam Hell. And the other part of he goes to Frogtown. Exactly. It's a very witty movie. It is extremely clever. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you couldn't believe that this is a real movie. <laughs> Dude, I, this is not what I was expecting. Again, this is another movie that just threw me. I was like, what's happening? Why do you people keep giving us movies to watch like this? <laughs> Why do I keep agreeing to do this? Uh, dude, they're either uh, garbage or they're great. It's pretty interesting. Great garbage. Amazing garbage. <laughs> so the movie, uh, <laughs> Hell Comes to Frogtown... Uh, stars our main character, Sam Hale, who is uh, an ex-con who gets hired by the uh, new provisional world government. Hey, he's not a con. Sorry, ex-prisoner? What, what do you... Well, he was a prisoner until that lady said that she didn't get sexually assaulted by him. <laughs> also, a good way to make a likable hero. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right yeah. off the bat. <laughs> Yes, you see, um, our main character, this guy Sam Hell, um, the first thing we see about him is, uh, this prison guard is attempting to torture him due to the fact that, uh, he sexually assaulted his daughter and got her pregnant. He's doing a pretty good job of torturing him. Yeah, he's pushing him over, he's about to cut off his balls, I'm assuming, with that broken bottle? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, but Sam gets, you know, into some stuff, he gets hired as a breeder or something, we'll get into that. And he goes They live in a post-apocalyptic world where 68% of men and women aren't fertile anymore, so... Exactly. They need specific people that go around and bone, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. They need these boners. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, and this leads into them getting into an adventure where they have to go save a bunch of fertile women from frogmen. Uh, in frog town. In Frogtown. <laughs> Hell comes to Frogtown. <laughs> is, is, is it starting to make sense? <laughs> is this, I know this is a high concept <laughs> kind it's of It's all movie. coming together. <laughs> this is, you may need a second to let this uh, sink in. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> all right. But, yeah, that's so that's where we're at. So, yeah, you basically already know, uh, yeah, he's a prisoner, but he gets freed from prison by MedTech, which is this group of, like, female scientists that, like, basically run the uh, world now, and they hire him because he's so fertile. This man is the most fertile man in the apocalypse, because everyone knows who he is. Um, it's 
probably a nice thing to be known for. <laughs> <laughs> he seems very reluctant to be known for this some, for some reason. He actually is. I don't know why. It's a really weird character trait. Um, but yeah, so he gets hired, and you know they're like, okay, so uh, we'll let you out of prison, and you just need to go breed uh, fertile women. Don't really explain that, but we'll get into the technical stuff. Sign the contract. <laughs> and they immediately strap a chastity belt to his crotch. With it's a shock collar. <laughs> a too. Shock collar. <laughs> with Shocking explosives chastity in belt it. with explosives. <laughs> yes, you know because they really need those fertile balls, so you know. So they might let them explode if need be. Exactly. What? <laughs> and though they need him that badly. They're going to let him go off on a very dangerous mission with uh, these two women. Well, if they're in this, like, post-apocalyptic world, um, why do they have all this, like, technology and stuff at this lab? Like, well, dude, ev- every, like, after the first 30 minutes, everything just looks like shit. But everything before that, at the beginning of the movie, just looks like it's in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, <yes. laughs> Somewhere. Dude, no, in, like, exactly. Arizona or something. Well, yeah, because, like, in this world, apparently based in this world, there's an apocalypse that happened. A nuclear holocaust happened ten years ago, so I'm guessing 1978. So I think this movie takes place, like, 1988. Mm-hmm. And, but somehow it seems like things aren't in, like, rubble. Like, the building looks really nice. got a bunch of technology in it and stuff. They have enough technology to, like, They have electricity. <laughs> exactly. Dude, they can test his fertility. Like, <laughs> it's a high level of science right there, like. But, yeah, so they hire him, and, you know, basically, uh, he's like, how do I get this off the P? And they're like, it's a flap. And, basically, your junk is property of the government now. Uh, also, in this post-apocalyptic world, uh, contracts mean something still? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jack, you don't want them to call the police? <laughs> Ooh, do they just call themselves? <laughs> You break this contract and you're gonna go to. Well, they still have prison. <laughs> They're still prison. Prison is a is one room with one chair in it and did one they, light. Did they ever explain what he did? Was the sexual assault? Was yes, that's him? why he was there. That's what got him in there. Gotcha. That's the only reason why he's there. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is a great character, but <laughs> he's <laughs> he gets taken out of the. Uh, hospital lab area by uh, these two women, one named Spangle and the other one named uh, Sentinella, and they are going to take him on a very dangerous mission to go retrieve a bunch of women, fertile women who were kidnapped by a bunch of frog people. Um, by Toady. By Commander Toady. Good, sorry. Yeah, you, no speak, disrespect. you put some respect on that name. <laughs> Commander Toady. Commander Toady. Commander Toady. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yes. And President of Frogtown. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that too, but like <laughs> they're taking him off of this dangerous mission, and they're like, and he brings up a good point where he's like, "Why am I going to this dangerous place?" And they're like, "Because you need to uh, fertilize these women." And it's like, but is he gonna do it while he's <laughs> in there? Like. <laughs> And, what, and if they don't bring the women back, what's the point? Like, they're just going to have these kids in Frogtown? Like, you don't want to be raising kids in Frogtown. Yeah, <laughs> Tell no. you what. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> but while they're on their mission or whatever, like, at one point, they, uh, they're, like, chilling out for the night. And Spangle tries to, like, seduce him or something to, like, keep him, like, you know, aroused. To keep him, like, sex- sexually frustrated or something? Exactly, because she's like, oh, it's it's good for, like, the semen. Like, that's just something she says, like. <laughs> and then after that, he gets jumped by a sentinella who tries to, like, bang him, basically, in the middle of the night. I've heard things about you. I want to know if they're true. <laughs> well, it's like everyone knows about Sam. Like, And again, he's like, oh, really? It's like <laughs> Once you go, Sam, you, I don't know. <laughs> back, go back. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a rhyme. Oh, man. God. <laughs> you get green eggs and ham? They're getting pipered. Ha, ah, there we go. Ah, ah, Roddy Piper, yes. Roddy Piper. <laughs> but, yeah. And then after that, they, like, find a random girl in the middle of the desert. And okay, this, this is, scene is weird. Dude, th- th- this, this is, is kind problematic. of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> this is a problematic scene. 
he would have <laughs> not, <laughs> not to be like libs or anything, but like <laughs> <laughs> I know it may sound a bit like lib tarts in this next part, but like <laughs> So they find they find this girl somehow, I don't know how they do this. She's running from them and they're like chasing her down in this car that has this machine gun on top of it. And uh, they finally get to her, they like put her down and like I swear in this scene, like, she doesn't know how to speak English or something. That's what it came across as. Yes. It's like, she had no idea how to communicate with them. Which turns out to be untrue, but also makes this very strange. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, Sam is trying to be, like, nice to her or whatever. And Spangler, or Spangle? It's Spangle. Spangle is like, alright, time for you to bang her. <laughs> yeah. And, and he's like... <laughs> He's like, wait a second, what? Like, he's like, I, uh, this is kind of weird. Like, I, I feel like I need some romance or something. Like, I don't, you know, he's like, I'm not in the mood. Like, which aren't the things you should be saying, Sam. It's more like, because, like, also Spangles, like, <laughs> injected her with, like, drugs to, like, you know, get her in a, like, hot and ready state to procreate. She's literally making her ovulate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's been roofied. And. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And Sam is saying a bunch of things to kind of avoid this, again, being reluctant, but not any of the things, like, she doesn't seem like she's in a good state to consent. <laughs> to... Consent was never part of the picture here. No, this is one of those moments, too, where I was like, oh, so in this society, consent's not a thing. <laughs> I guess it is also the 80s. It's the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and eventually, like, Spangle tries to, like, he'd warm him up or whatever, and then he just goes ahead and, like, has sex with her. And then the next morning, like, they're, like, snuggling or whatever. And the next they, morning, she looks like a completely different person also. She does. Which is kind of odd. Well, like, he cleaned her up, apparently. Not before sex, after sex. When? Where? How? Sometime during the night, I guess. <laughs> because, you know, Spangle asks, uh, Sentinella, did you clean her? And Sentinella's like, nope. So then she looks over at Sam, so Sam must have cleaned her. Um... Showing that he's a nice guy. Yeah, luckily, you know, the next morning, this random woman seems thrilled as to what happened. Exactly. She's <laughs> very thrilled, and she's, like, telling them where Frogtown is and how to get there and stuff and everything. They... So we know that he's banged two people in the movie so far. Yes. Both he's sexually assaulted, and both don't care. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, the second girl gives him a, a hug, and he kisses her on the forehead and sends her off, like... <laughs> Go, go, go back down south where it's safe. You'll be treated like a queen when you get back. Yes, yeah, so our society treats mothers like queens, and it's like, what? <laughs> What's happening? Oh my god! But then, like, they like come upon like the camp or whatever, and to sneak in, uh, Spangle dresses up as like a slave, and you know has Sam like walk her slave in. Slave Leia vibes. Slave Leia vibes, definitely. Discounts. C movie level slave. Leia. Cool. Leia. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and they like sneak in. And when they sneak in or whatever, it's into this, like basically industrial complex is where the frogs are like living or whatever. It looks like an oil rig or something. Yeah, exactly. Like a factory kind of thing. And there's like a female frog dancer. Um, yeah, they go, the first place they go to is the saloon there. The saloon, Yes. So like you know, because I got to now it's a, just a western. It's just <laughs> <We're> a watching. <laughs> it's a western with giant frogs. Fuck me, Dude. Yeah, the first thing we see when we get in there is that the camera pans upward to show this dancer is out the frog person. <laughs> horrifying. It was very. Horrifying. I literally was, like flinched. I was like, "What is this?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things. Where it's like I'm I'm expecting some giant frogs, but when you see it, it's like. Oh, God. And she's honestly one of the hardest ones to look at. Um, yeah, like, her mask or whatever has, like, makeup on it and yes. stuff. It's like, oh, my like, <laughs> like, and also, also, I feel like they made her look a little bit more human than the other frog people, which I thought was disturbing. Like, yeah, the other frog people look like there's actual, frogs, like, yeah, like, they just, the, like, like <laughs> they're frogs that just stand on, like, two legs. Exactly. This just looks like a lady with a frog head. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Oh, God. God. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, God. But, um, yeah. And then they, uh, go to this guy who's, like, a dealer or whatever, and they're trying to, like, you know, pretend to trade off Spangle so they can get information on where all the other females are that they were, like, kidnapped. And they decide, uh, when they, they, while they're doing this, they meet his friend, uh, an old friend of his, which I can't recall his name. Uh, the old man. The old man. Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> no, his nickname is Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes. All right, gotcha. So Looney Tunes, they meet this old guy as an old friend of like Sam's or whatever, and he sets them up with this deal with this uh, guy. But before they can finish the deal and get all the information they need, Bull comes in. Bull the Frog Man. And Love him. <laughs> Great character, honestly. He is so funny. Yeah, he is. He like He's got some good one liners. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your hole <laughs> You see he's a he's a little hateful towards humans. He doesn't like humans all too much. Hey, I get it. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> well, like we also learned there's a small little bit of like social commentary here where like what the dealer that they're trying to talk to is like, yeah, you know, but like we all don't like humans too much because, you know, we were created by that explosion, and then you guys all put us on this reservation. And I was like, hmm. This is... Wait a second. <laughs> yeah, I was like, huh, this is interesting. Honestly, the most interesting thing is that, you know, humanity allowed them to survive, but then again, that's probably due to the lack of manpower that they had. Mm. Until one day when they can get rid of all these frog people. Exactly. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's like this story I heard about there's like a bunch of monkeys in South America that are in their Stone Age. Like, I heard this from somebody a few oh, weeks ago. And my immediate response was like, so when's someone going to bomb them? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, luckily we haven't done anything like that to the Native Americans for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, we haven't done anything for a long time to those good indigenous folks. Well, I wouldn't mess with them, you know. They are wolves or something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that, though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Bull comes over, uh, grabs Spangle offers um, Sam a really bad deal for her, and then knocks him out and takes uh, her to uh, back to Commander Toadie. And then He's been getting his ass kicked the entire movie already. He's not just stereotypical like protagonist that you'd expect in one of these movies. Like He just keeps looking like an idiot and getting his ass beat. <laughs> yes, yes. And it only continues because he wakes up with... Uh, the female frog wakes him up, and she wakes him up, and she says, I love you, and he freaks the fuck out, which I would as well. Um, I mean, definitely. It is the code word, or whatever, it code is the, phrase. And he remembers that. Like, the next second, he's like, oh, wait, yeah, the, the code phrase. Um, Somehow, his semen is so famous, this frog lady has also <laughs> heard of him. Her first instinct is to try to bang him. Yes. Right after he's been dazed and confused and, you know, knocked out, which, you know... Clearly, this movie does not give a shit about sexual assault at all. No, well, <laughs> he doesn't give it any mind. Like, well, also, it's like he's like, "How can I ever thank you?" And she immediately tries to bang him repeatedly, throwing herself at him until he's like, "Wait, wait, wait! If we're gonna do this, I need you to put this bag on your head." <laughs> she put a bag on my head. It still counts. <laughs> Where's Akon? <laughs> Why wasn't Akon in this movie? Right. <laughs> Was still the Akon of the 80s? <laughs> okay, alright. Um, but yeah, and uh, he's like walking back like he's about to dip on this girl. But then um, they hear a noise or whatever and she decides to lead him to where they are keeping uh, Spangle. And he gets there and... <laughs> Commander Toadie shows up, takes Spangle. He falls right over the railing for some reason and just face he's like, plants. He's like, like leaning on it and just completely falls apart and he falls down and gets knocked out again. Exactly. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> yeah. And now Looney Tunes and like the female frog like join up and they're like, we gotta do something to help them. So they're gonna like get some plan together. So the women, Spangle meets all the women that are captive and they start doing this really weird cloth, uh, blanket ceremony where they're, like, getting her, like, ready for the dance of the three snakes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we'll 
we'll get to that, though. Jesus. Oh, but God. that's what she's doing. Basically making her aroused or something. While Sam... I don't know what they're doing in there. She's looking, like, sweating and stuff and, like, breathing very deeply. And she's, like, in a weird state or whatever. It was weird. I don't know. What kind of ritual is this? <laughs> what kind of ritual? Where'd you learn this ritual? Women, like, <laughs> you've just been captives, like... They were, like, just captured or something. Exactly. And they can't, you know... They keep talking about the, like, dance of the three snakes, but they don't ever explain what she should do. They're like, we're going to get you ready, because you should know, if you don't do it right, several other girls have died. But they never show her moves or anything. Like, I think this is kind of what the Jedi trials actually look like. <laughs> <laughs> Control your passion. <laughs> Let's see. Weird robes, nonsense, <laughs> <laughs> mythical monster. <laughs> I think so. Uh. <laughs> familiar trust your instincts <laughs> but yeah so and then sam's with bull who is like uh i'm gonna like rip off that chastity belt on you to study the technology or whatever and he's like don't do that it's like it'll blow it'll kill us both and like as they're also doing the ceremony uh didn't mention this spangles earrings uh cause sam's chastity belt to either zap him or help her find him so, and they're getting rubbed as she, the ceremony's happening, so... Very light touch. These very, things can just go off. Exactly. They're just being rubbed by the cloth or whatever from the ceremony, and Sam is being shocked this entire time, and he's, like, yelling and freaking out, and Bull comes in with a line like, you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you know, you're a really weird guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're a toad man. <laughs> He's also trying to get his chastity belt off with a chainsaw. Yes. Like he Which is absolutely hilarious. Bruh, the fact that he doesn't like kill him with that chainsaw is hilarious. I'm like my mind I can't believe they faked us out first time though. He has a chainsaw and it runs out of gas. Exactly. <laughs> That's so dumb. Sam's like, what are you gonna go do? I'm gonna get more gas. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, an idiot? Yes. <laughs> he doesn't have a high uh what is it? Uh, high expectations for Sam. <laughs> I don't think anyone has high expectations for him. It's just his penis I have exactly. high expectations for. <laughs> He's just attached to this penis. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... But before... After he, uh, he uses the chainsaw and he gets off the uh, chassis belt off Sam. And, like, it doesn't blow. And both of them are surprised. And Bull's like, I told you, human. Why would they put explosives in this? And then it explodes. Aha, uh-huh. <laughs> good timing. <laughs> really makes him look like a real dick. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then the female frog has, I'm assuming, stabbed the guard outside and snuck back in. And she's, like, helping uh, Sam get loose. And again, Sam's like, thank you, thank you. How could I ever help you? And she... <laughs> she immediately tries to bang him again. And she's talking about pulling up the bag. She still has the bag. And he's like, no, not now. <laughs> I was slightly worried he's going to get sexually assaulted because his hands are tied back. And I was like, oh, God. Yeah, he still is tied up during this. <laughs> no, get me down. <laughs> and then as they're escaping, Bull gets up, stabs her with, like, a screw, and kills her. And then Sam takes that screw and then stabs and kills Bull. Rip. Rip. Rip it. Ha. <laughs> 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 Ribbity rip. <laughs> Dead frogs. <laughs> Peoples. Ah, man. Oh, God. Why haven't we been saying frog more? Dead frog. Oh, goodness. Wasted. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, then... While Dead frog society. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> then while this is happening, um, Spangle is, like, doing the dance of the three snakes for Lord to- or for Commander Toady. And... As this is happening, it's, it's working. It's, what, is she just, like, belly dancing? She's just that, belly dancing, yeah. I guess. She just starts belly dancing, and Toadie's liking it. And as it's happening, dear Lord. it's As soon as oh I heard God. Dance of the Three Snakes, this is what I thought it was going to be. I'm just glad they cut it where they did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but as this is happening, you, the camera pans down to Toadie's crotch, where you see three things moving around. And you can assume where this is going. He gets up to go over to her, and she's like, You've aroused the three snakes! And he lifts up his robe, and she looks down at it. And he's like, come here. And she's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> she's like, 
says it just like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, hell no. Exactly. <laughs> she gives him three quick kicks to the dick. Exactly. <laughs> Dicks. Dude, I wouldn't even want to kick his... Oh, goodness. Oh, like, my God. Like, she's got, like, a bare leg, dude. Imagine... <laughs> <laughs> Rub up against it a little bit. What if one grabbed her? <laughs> <laughs> Start constricting her. <laughs> it is a snake, correct? Exactly. This frog man has three penis snakes. Three penis snakes, exactly. <laughs> and all the men are chanting, penis snakes. <laughs> penis. <laughs> but no, she kicks him in the crotch and escapes and runs into Sam or whatever. And uh, they basically escape. They're uh, about to get out when Toadie comes at them with a few soldiers. And luckily, Looney Tunes comes out of nowhere and starts shooting the flare gun at them. He goes crazy with this flare gun, dude. Yeah, he like shoot shoots multiple flares like in very quick succession, and then suddenly he's like reloading. It's like, do you have like a revolver <laughs> for like flares or something? Bro, exactly. I was like, is this like a three shot flare gun? You need like, oh, but yeah, he like fires some flares so they can get out. They get the girls and uh, him all into their truck. Uh, Canilla's showing up with the truck, and they're like zooming off. And while they're zooming off, uh, Looney Tunes dies. He was injured. So, really clipping these side characters. None of those fertile women, though. Um, all of what? Five of them? All five of them. And as they're escaping, they get stopped. They get started getting chased by Lord Toady and his frogs. And you know, Commander Toady's, you know, he's like the, the, the leader of this fort with all these frog and lizard. Because there's also, like, reptile people. Like, the one dude was like a lizard. I swear most people in this look like lizards. Bro, exactly. Like, I was like, besides the female frog and, like, a few other... They were all, like, a bunch of lizards, like... Uh, the only time I really got the impression that they were actual, like, frog people is, like, when they're getting into that car that they're gonna chase the gang in, mm -hmm. one person, like, hops like a frog onto it. And I was like, oh, okay, so they are frog people. Dude, I was waiting for I was like, there's not been enough hopping in this. Maybe that's racist of me. <laughs> Assume these frogs would be hopping. Speaking of racist, <laughs> um, these motherfuckers are called greeners. That's oh, what people yeah. refer to them as. See, that's what, another thing where I was like, reservation, they're calling them greeners, it's a desert. <laughs> it's like, this has to be a slur. <laughs> There's border patrol surrounding this area. Like, <laughs> in the beginning uh. of the movie, there's one of them is being actually harassed by a person <laughs> like, who calls him a greener. Like... And he gets shot. Exactly. Killed. Got him. Random thing that'll pay off in like a second is the uh, Greeners have somehow gotten guns, which was illegal on the reservation. You know, like in America. Um, and America. America. <laughs> and as they're trying to escape uh, Sam and the gang, they get stopped by a guy with a rocket launcher who's been selling all these weapons to the Greeners. And who is it but the prison guard from the beginning of the movie? Yep. For some reason, honestly, the after I, when I was watching it, didn't get that. Mm -hmm. Seriously, did not remember or understand <laughs> that. It was only when I like read the synopsis after I was like, "Oh, what, dude?" Exactly. I was like, <laughs> "Really? Okay, um, whatever." I recognized sure. him, but I was like, "All right." I mean, you could have just used anyone, but sure. He's um, really going Raiders of the Lost Ark on him as well, dude. Exactly. <laughs> and and this is RPG just pouring it down from a cliff, bro. Oh my god! Like he's using it. Like, looks just a, like it. <laughs> you, he's using like it's a damn shotgun. Um, but he and this is another time where I was like, this has some weird commentary because he's like, "Yeah, you see." I'm selling guns to the uh, frogs so then I can buy their uranium and I'm taking it to some scientists to make more bombs so I can destroy the world. Why? Because women are telling him to do stuff too much. <laughs> like, they're like, he's like, we can't, oh, these women are, they're, they're, you know, telling me to what to do all the time and I don't like it because most of the society now, <laughs> human society is women. And this guy, so this guy's just a huge sexist. Like, this might be the most realistic thing in this whole movie. <laughs> dude. <laughs> What? Women want to be in charge? Blow the world up. <laughs> That's it. We have to start over. <laughs> See, now, if Charles Heston would have said that in Planet of the Apes. <laughs> I was like, wait, women are ta have taken over? No, apes. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> male or female apes? Um, I guess male? Okay. 
fellas. <laughs> <laughs> they had a plan in the reference right at the beginning of the movie as well. Exactly. See, that's where, like, there's things in this movie that they, it was trying to go for. It was, I feel like it was trying to go for social commentary and stuff, and it was poorly executed. They did a terrible job if that was their intention. Bruh. Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, so... But luckily, Sam pulls out a katana and throws it through this guy. He survives it. They have a fight on a cliff. He uh, also drops his handgun for some reason. Exactly. He leaves his handgun and the sword behind, but he takes the RPG with him. <laughs> yes. And uh, Sam shoots him and uh, then takes the RPG. This is, this is amazing. He, you know, he goes up, kicks this guy. You know, he's like, oh, he's dead. He starts walking away. This guy turns around with the RPG, and he makes a slight noise with his foot against the ground. And Sam turns around and immediately shoots him. One shot, clean, gone. Exactly. Which really makes this next scene super confusing. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Because we go back out there. The truck has been destroyed by the lizard people. They've rolled up. Sam doesn't know where the gang is. With also, Looney Tunes' body was in that car, <laughs> which I realized after, which kind of made me giggle. Yeah, they, were, hey, they probably all raced away from the car, and someone was like, what about Looney <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> that body is just burning in, this, in the rubble of the car. That's probably a, a mention he was asked, like, well, I'll get to that, but go ahead. Yeah, so now Sam is doing Raiders of the Lost Ark against the... <laughs> frog people, and he's telling the minions to go away so he can kill Toadie, and he tries to shoot the RPG, and it doesn't work, and so he pulls out his handgun and misses every shot! How? How? He just proved that he was such a good shooter! (laughs) Insane. I don't get it. (laughs) Missed every one of those shots, but luckily it's just mano a mano, or mano a frog, (laughs) and (laughs) Toadie... Mano a frogo. (laughs) Mano a frogo. And... Sam and uh, Toadie are fighting or whatever. It leads them up to a cliff and stuff. And then basically uh, Sam uh, is trying to, like, get him off of him. He's hanging, like, off of Sam, off the cliff. And, like, Sam gets to his katana. How is Sam not sliding in this scene? He's not holding on to anything. No, exactly. It made no sense. Whatever. (laughs) He's even able to pull himself far enough in uh, to the cliff to grab his katana cut off Toadie's hand, and Toadie falls to his death. Got him. Also, this is very confusing, because during the fight, Sam gets, like, all, like, bloodied up, and, like, you know, he's, like, covered in, like, dirt and stuff. The next scene, once again, he looks like nothing happened. It's fine. He's just, like, nothing had happened. It's like, what, did you shoot this, like, first, and then you did that <laughs> after? Like, <laughs> No, yeah, dude, see, they're, like, they're in the desert, so they, they were like, all right, we have to shoot all the frog scenes at one time, because we can't just leave these guys in these suits, so they're going to die. They're going to die. <laughs> so, you know, we'll do that all together, then all these other scenes together. But yeah, so Sam walks back, the girls all got out of the car, again, without Looney Tunes, um, and they take uh, Toadie's car, and they're heading back, and, oh, I guess I missed this, but, like, Spangle comes over and, like, gives Sam, like, a big hug or whatever, and it's like, oh, you won or whatever, and, like, he goes to make a move on her, and she's like, uh-uh-uh, and goes to press her, like, earrings, but the chastity's belt's gone, so, like, he still just makes his move, and they kiss, um... And then they're just in love, or something. They're just in love. It's, they're just in love. It's one of those things, too, where it's like, she's, like, so happy that he came back because he didn't have to, because the chastity belt was gone, but it's also, like, why did he go back? Like, <laughs> Where else would he go? <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I could just head back. I mean... It's the apocalypse or something. I, don't I mean, know how this well society's this developed. job is about to get double decent because you know they're in the front of the car. His new girlfriend is telling him, "You have to bang these five other women first. That is true. He now has a girlfriend and has a job where he gets to bang women for a living. And again, he's like reluctant. He's like, "Oh man, it's true what they say: the war's never over for a soldier." <laughs> in the movie, a ends. soldier's work is never done. Oh, that's it. <laughs> My God, that man has a loaded weapon. <laughs> Easily the best line. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's the end. That's Hell Comes to Frogtown. Um, Terrible. Yeah. Uh, Awful movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Honestly, not the worst movie we've had to watch this week, though. <laughs> Honestly. God. Oh, God. Godly. I could have watched Lair of the White Worm again. <laughs> I really prefer Lair of the White Worm to this. Mm-hmm. Like, like, this, it's so, it's so dumb, like. <laughs> but we didn't even get into, like, how awful the acting is throughout it, where it's like. It's terrible. It's the worst. It's like they got a bunch of people off the street, like. You don't know any of these people in this movie either. Like, it's... You expected me to know who Roddy Piper was. It's because he's from Always Sunny. He, he play... He's in, like, two episodes or something. Yeah, he plays, like, the, uh, whatever. He's in the... He wrestler... plays the wrestler. Yeah. Yeah, the drunkard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh, what was it? Yeah, uh... It, it, you know, it's one of those times where it's like, you know, you, you do a movie, you're hoping it's insane, and it'll be fun and enjoyable, and it's... Once again, this is a, a cult classic movie, and it's like, I can, I understand why it's a cult classic. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's called Hell Comes to Frogtown. Yes. But it is bad. <laughs> very bad. It's very bad. Um, At least it's short. Exactly. It moved. I was very happy with the fact that when I checked the time and it was 50 minutes to pass, I barely noticed. I was like, oh, sick. All right, awesome. This is almost Surprisingly, done. you know, the setting of it, Frogtown, is only in the movie for like 25 minutes. Yes, exactly. Most of this, most of the movie is the journey to Frogtown. Yeah, seriously. It's just them in the back. desert. Yeah, it's... Mm, mm. Honestly, this seems like it should have been a porno. Like, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> The fact that there's only nudity once in this movie is surprising. It's quite shocking, actually. Yeah. Um, this sounds like the wet dream of an incel. It's like, wait, my job is I get to sexually assault women <laughs> <laughs> and not pull out. <laughs> and they love it. And they love it. And I'm a legend throughout the wastelands of how, <laughs> how <laughs> fertile <laughs> my semen is. End of script. <laughs> this will show the world. <laughs> that is true. Thank goodness. Incels. They're like cockroaches. They can survive <laughs> nuclear holocaust. <laughs> if they're the only people with fertile semen left, humanity will die. <laughs> we'll all become frog people. <laughs> it's like frog person or you sleep with an incel. I'll be a frog person. How high can I hop? <laughs> Why are they not hopping so much? <laughs> Why do they have penises? Frogs don't have penises. They have three penises. Jesus. And they have, they're snakes. They have cloacas. Ah, fucking. <laughs> this biology. But yeah, um. <laughs> yeah, get yeah. that out of here. Jeez. I would not recommend this movie. Um. It is. Like. Roddy Piper has had, like, an interesting film career. He has another movie with Keith David that's a lot better. Um, I'd say watch that movie. Um, that movie, I'm sorry. This is me currently looking for that movie on Google. They Live. They Live's actually pretty good. Um, but Never not, seen it. Yeah. It's actually a decent flick. It's actually a entertaining, fun flick. This one... It has funny moments, and it's trying to be entertaining at bits and pieces. And some of the times I legitimately laugh, but, like, I don't know. I didn't enjoy it that much, so. I enjoyed the female frog. <laughs> Besides how, you know, terrible she looked. Her Pepe Le Pew vibes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, I could have any of these frogs, but they're not a real man like you. I was thinking, like, yeah, they're frogs. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah, I thought the same thing. Right, it's like, like, they're frog people. Exactly. <laughs> and Except for Looney Tunes. Yeah. But, yeah. but he's, like, a hundred years old or something. Exactly. What, you think Looney Tunes are banging frogs? I don't know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> he's mining uranium, but, like, <laughs> Jesus. Mining uranium. Said he has nine lives. I've lived my nine lives, kid. <laughs> I hope heaven is as good as this. What, driving in the desert? <laughs> I think maybe surrounded by women. I figure that's what he's doing. Yeah. What he's going for. <laughs> but yeah, uh, what would you rate it? Three. Yeah, yeah, I'd go three. Uh, again, it's just like the before where it just makes you want to push other movies up. This is 
three out of ten. Um, <laughs> thank you, uh, Ryan, for uh, suggesting this <laughs> movie. Ryan, man. Ryan, man. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't like it. Sorry, we don't like the movies that everyone's yeah. sending in. <laughs> I mean, y- you do get it. Like, we've been watching terrible movies, but, like, I swear your guys' <laughs> movies are worse. <laughs> Dude, I know, right? Like, I feel like, I was like we picked them, like, they're bad, but, like, they're entertaining. They're, like, like crazy entertaining, though. Exactly, like, like uh, except for the third man. Third man's just good. No, third, well, like, third man's good. The Shining's good. Um, but, yeah, everything else we picked is, is entertaining, like. It's stupid, but fun to watch. Exactly. That's what it, it kind of needs to be. That's what, like, I keep getting, like, suggestions. People like, ah, do The Room or whatever. I'm like, eh, I mean, like, The Room has a lot of silly bits in it and everything, but, like, eh. Uh. <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people like this movie for weird reasons. Of course, dude. It's how it goes. But, um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, so, uh, this is Chris. This is Jack. And uh, we watch movies. In Frogtown. God damn it. <laughs>